Haiti continues to spiral into violence and a curfew is now in effect for the capital, Port-au-Prince, following days of highly coordinated gang attacks across the city. Armed groups have burned down police stations, attacked stadiums and airports, and on Sunday more than 4,000 inmates from Haiti's National Penitentiary escaped in a massive prison break, leading to multiple revenge killings both inside the building and on the streets of Port-au-Prince. It was a very difficult situation. The riot in the prison, our lives were at risk. What we did was shelter ourselves. There were a lot of shots. We were afraid for our lives. Gang violence is nothing new in Haiti. Organized criminals already control roughly 80 percent of the capital. But now some are making direct challenges to the country's political system, calling for the overthrow of the government and the arrest of Prime Minister Ariel Henry. We are demanding that the police and the military take responsibility and arrest Ariel Henry. Our men with weapons are not your enemy. Meanwhile, a new agreement will see Kenyan peacekeepers deployed in Haiti, and they say they'll take the fight directly to the gangs. We are making this response because it is what is right. It is what humanity, it is what humankind can do. What this mission is bringing is hope for the future. Hope for the future for the humankind. Because of the escalating violence, the Biden administration has canceled all official travel to Haiti and urged Americans to leave as soon as possible. In London, Alex Hogan, Fox News.